Humanity has been driven from Earth, but now it's time to take it back. Join the Reconquest and fight the Scourge on the Drop Zone Commander Hub at beastsofwar.com. The new Flames of War 4th Edition brings you the battles of World War II in epic 15mm scale. Go to beastsofwar.com to get the latest in news, tactics and tutorials. Hi everybody, welcome to What's in the Box. Today myself and John are having a look at some Tyrian for Infinity. Without opening the box. Kind of. Uh, I'll open one box. Yeah, okay. I'll open one box. Okay. You can pick which box I open. But first, let's show off the boxes. Yes, go for uh, it. We have the stuff already out in Prime, but we'll start here. So, we have lorry packs, which I think are quite cool. Yep. So if you're wanting to throw down some nice sort of block and line of sight Tyrian, giving you half cover, stuff like that, yep. this stuff's going to be absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, we also get some small cars. I like the yellow one. Kind of racy. The sort the sort of Lamborghini, not Lamborghini, or future Lamborghini. Yeah. Uh, uh, I also the back. I also like the future smart cars. <laughs> yeah, the little bubble cars. Yes. Yeah, it's it's like someone sneezed inside them. <laughs> uh, we then, of course, have futuristic, essentially Volkswagen Beetles. Yeah, pickle vans they're called apparently. Pickle vans. Yeah. Um, I love the design of these, and I love the fact that they're just such a blank canvas that you can paint up. You could do these bright, shiny, and pretty, or you could really grind them up yep. and make it look like maybe a less prosperous part of the human sphere. Or maybe an old abandoned city, perhaps, if that fits into oh, the story somewhere. That would work. Yeah. That would work, because you will have some places where it's just god-awful, you know, people have been called out. There's maybe an infestation of the combined army. Oh, that yeah, work. there's been a All war right. and everything's left. Which one of these will I open? Um, I think let's open the lorries, because the lorries have the most parts to them. Actually, fair point, because the rest of it, there's no building to it, but the lorries, no. there is a little bit, isn't yeah. there? there's a tiny bit of building. All right, now, uh, if I can open the box. So these are HDF and expanding foam hybrid kits, then. Yep. All right, well, I've got the expanding foam out, so if you want to grab the, the HDF bits, mm -hmm. we'll start showing them up. So, so, first of all, you'll have these, which are essentially the cabs for your trucks. And they've already got the wheels sort of half on here, yeah? Kind of half there, yeah. All right. Um, they are pretty damn crisp, but th this just looks like a safety issue waiting to happen. This big plexiglass <laughs> front on it. It does a little bit. You know, you hit that and it's just showering glass everywhere. This one looks as if it's took a little knock already. Maybe maybe it's not glass. Maybe. Plastic. Maybe not glass. Um, some big I said plastic glass. Some form of futuristic thingy. Macrolon. Macrolon? Yeah. What is Macrolon? Macrolon's the stuff they use on the armoured Land Rovers over here. Oh, okay. It's that plastic shielding over the, the glass. Ah, I get you. Air. Solved. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, as you can see, in around it there's some nice details, even down to some like wiring and like energy transfer stuff at the back here. You then have this tiny little thing. Mm-hmm. This tiny little thing is actually the rear axle for your trailer. It is. Which I think is a really cool idea. Yep. Right, we then come to our HDF components. So, on the sprues you've got bits for tyres and bits for actually building the main chassis mm -hmm. to actually take the loads. Uh, you don't get any of the containers that are meant to go with these in this set. No, but they, they are do sold separately. as well, yeah. So, uh, as well as that, you just get the other little bits that are needed. Mm -hmm. Nothing incredibly special. You'll pop them out and you'll probably have them built reasonably quickly. Yeah. And again, reasonably well cut out because bits are falling out. Mm -hmm. Now, what do they look like? Building it, yep. you'll get this. Right? Mm -hmm. And from here, what you'll do is, I'll put these out of the way. I'll bring in one of our cabs. So you see this little dent in the back here? One end of it goes into here, if I get it the right way around, because it is sided. And then if I hold this here, you can do that. Mm -hmm. And that creates your lorry. Yeah, but the cool thing is, you can actually just keep extending this by adding more. So I will take this and pop it on here, and this and pop it on here. And so you can have a very, very long articulated lorry. Mm -hmm. Now you can maybe glue these into place once you've actually figured out what you what you want to do, but I would leave them loose just so that it's more of a modular system to actually lay it out on the tabletop. Magnetize? You could. There's nothing to stop you. No. But no, I've done a thing, I shouldn't have done that thing. <laughs> They're nice. They, they are, are nice. They are very nice. Uh, the little pickle vans are my favourite though. Okay, let's have a look. Out at of that. everything, the pickle vans are my favourite. Just because look at how cute they are. <laughs> it you, is just a futuristic VW. 
Yeah, they they do kind of. Do you know what they really remind me of though? The the little every time you see someone who's been out in Asia or somewhere like that, and they bring footage back, there's always that white Toyota van. Yeah, it's that ubiquitous van that everybody has out there, just like the white Toyota pickup. Yeah, <laughs> so, these have a little bit of. They have a little yeah, bit of age, just yeah. to do the wheels. Yeah, but they're they're such a cool little thing, and you can do so much with them. Mm. Because, I mean, like, you see, even if you started gluing on like bits of wire and gubbins and stuff, you could do a really sort of cyberpunk feel with these. Yeah, it was really good. And that would work really well. Uh, then we have my favourite, which is just... This is actually just a cast piece of resin. A single block cast piece of resin. Mm -hmm. And it's just... Look at it. It's just a racy little car. You know, I probably wouldn't buy one in grey. You know, I would maybe go for a racing car red on it. That's terrible. What? It's primed. It's only primed. Get a colour primed. Get a colour prank. <laughs> and tell me how to do my job. And tell you how to do yours. No, I won't. <laughs> I can't do your job. Not as well, anyway. Ah, uh, well, this is the thing. We all have our own skills in here. All right, anyway. Uh, we also have the little bubble cars that you seem to like, John. I think they are so cute. It's like a mobility scooter. <laughs> yeah. It's it's like a souped-up mobility scooter. No, or you know what it's, it's like? Hmm? You know what it's like? Tron Legacy. You know the light cycles? Oh, yeah. It's like someone took the front of one of them and just went... It's like someone took someone one... Someone squished it. Someone took one and went, it needs four wheels. And needs to be shorter. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have sort of the, the mid-range saloons. And they're not bad. I'm going to call them Vauxhall Novas of the future. I don't know. It, it, it looks like a future golf. You think Vauxhall it's a golf? Future golf? Yeah, future golf. It could be a future golf. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, well, sure they're we, all I'm, I'm sure they're all electric and environmentally friendly. Probably, which is a shame. Mm. <laughs> but that's... What we have in grey here is essentially what's from three boxes, yeah? Yeah. That gives you a fair chunk of stuff to lay down. Yeah, so I mean, if you... You have these things parked up, driving down the streets, yep. giving and you that incidental terrain that you don't normally get when you're trying to lay boxes down. Yeah, exactly. And I think because a lot of the, a lot of the Infinity games we've played in here haven't been that big, but they've been very terrain dense. Yeah. So it might let you sort of spread out a little bit and sort of yeah. fill out something in a bit more of a realistic fashion. We well, see, with all the neoprene mats and stuff that are coming out at the minute, you have all the city ones that mm. have been done for Infinity in the past. Mm -hmm. Having this stuff to fill up those city streets, I think, is a really, really good idea. Yeah. Because if, if I put, like, crates or something in the middle of a, a road that's meant to be in a sci-fi city, that looks a little weird. Yeah. You know, but actually having, like, vehicles to actually put out on the roads yeah. makes a lot more sense. I wonder who painted these. Um, I have no idea. I have no idea. Guys, if you know who painted these, comments below. Because Let me just bring this one up because it's got some of the nicest work on it. Yeah. Which is the little pickle vans. They've done freehand up the side of them and maybe some transfer work. If this isn't Angel Geraldes, I want Angel Geraldes to paint these. You want to see Angel paint these? Yeah. Uh, the way you said that makes it sound as if they're beneath him. No, no, no. It's just I don't I'd... know how Angel would attack these. That's why I'd like to see it. Yeah, but you see, this is the thing with the angel painting style. It's that, that really high contrast between where the, the light's hitting and the, the fades through into colour are so sharp in some Yes, ways. but you, you imagine... Oh, weird on these. You imagine him doing the sports car like that. It would look like it's still sat in a showroom. Give it a... Yeah, the sports car, but again, I wouldn't do it in this yellow. No, well... I mean, like, looking at these... Yeah, I would maybe let Angel loose on those to see what he could come up with. Oh, yeah. It could be interesting. Not, not that we're dictating what he should be painting these no, days. No, 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 no. no. I, you see, this is the thing. Angel is probably sitting there every single month going, why are, the, why are there ten more miniatures coming out with the Pan Oceana? Why is this happening? I want to paint Eugene. Come on! <laughs> I think he gets enough of everything in the month. Yeah, yeah. Well, you but, see, that's the good thing about Infinity. They split, split up their, their actual release schedule enough so that everybody's always getting something. Yeah. And even if you're left out one month, you're definitely in the next. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Not to mention some of the stuff to do for Gen Con. It's just crazy. You know, all those big bundle deals and stuff they always do. I always love seeing those. <laughs> and I'm, I'm sure a lot of people's wallets don't whenever they turn up to the event and go, Oh, Infinity. Crap. <laughs> I can't eat this weekend. So what we're saying is we're very happy with these. These are a great idea. Mm -hmm. they, they make sense and they'll actually give you a thematic piece of terrain that you can put down on the tabletop. And it's something you can play about with painting. I mean, yeah. You can keep it really simple. You know, do black on the windows, bit of a gloss, paint it on varnish. Yep. Simple colours and stuff for the actual vehicles themselves. Throw in a little rust in there, make it look a little worn. You know, because depending on what you're playing in, because I mean, if you're playing in a, a high-end say, you're going to want these bright, colourful, popping. You're working in an industrial area, you're going to want them dirty, grimy, a bit dusty. You're working in a slums, 
or you're playing in the slums, you're going to want these things rotten, rusted to hell. Yeah. Glue bits and gubbins all over them to make it look as if someone's just stuck a solar panel on top of one of, it, one of them to keep it running or something like that. Yeah. Go real post-apocalyptic with it. Yeah. It's a real nice canvas for your hobby. Mm-hmm. That's my thoughts anyway. I tend to agree with you on that. So. All right. Well, uh, only thing left to do. Uh, everybody out there, get your comments in below. Do you like the idea of having these vehicles on your Infinity Tables? And are there any other games that you would actually maybe think of using them with? Because, you know, they are sci-fi, but they're not specifically Infinity. They're designed for Infinity. But you could use them with them, and once you're, they're in your hands. Well, potentially. Well, if you want. Anyway, get your comments in. Myself and Joe will move on here. We'll see you in the next one. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now, and be sure to check out beastofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming Let's Plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe, and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.